very good afternoon to you guys welcome back to the channel how's everyone doing i hope you're having a great time this moment i want to say a big thank you uh to every single one of you who has uh, joined to watch the video again uh to the subscribers of the channel thank you so so much and uh, welcome back to this one so i obviously dropped the first video and uh in that one i talked about uh a lot of things including the good news that uh, standing one Bali was declared fit to uh you know make the selection for the angola game uh, tomorrow evening and of course i also mentioned that Pusiri was going to hold a, a press conference where he will be answering a series of questions from nigerian uh, reporters uh later in the afternoon and of course that one uh, was already done and uh, there has been uh, a number of uh stories that have come out again and uh you know not, they are not exactly very very good some of them and quickly i'll just start with uh the most important things that Pocero said and on the team news Pocero um uh, mentioned uh that uh you know the team as i said are going to uh the team is going to have a another uh a training another assessment today this evening and that's the final assessment before that game tomorrow uh, so Pocero was insistent that although one uh, passed that fitness test yesterday but he is still subject to uh, another fitness this evening, which is a bit of a, a worrying news because what it means is that uh, Wabali is still actually a doubt for tomorrow's game until he passes the fitness test this evening, this evening training. They will probably be uh, on the training right now. They will probably be doing the training at this moment because this is, as I, when I'm recording these videos, after five so they will uh, already be on it right now. So Pusero is saying that Wabali also needs to pass the test, the fitness test, uh, this evening after the training. And uh, apparently it's, every, it's everybody that's going to uh, undergo this uh, fitness uh, test today. So Wabali is obviously going to be one of those people. And uh, Pusero has now said uh, to the media that uh, he hopes Wabali gets... Uh, is, is strong enough and is fit enough to pass you know the test just like all the other 25 players will be made to go through but in the event that he doesn't pass the test this evening that he has you know good quality keepers he trusts his uh, uh, well, his other goalkeepers Ojo and uh, Ozoho that if he calls them they are going to bring in their 100% if Mwabali doesn't pass the, the, the test and that worries me a lot again because Obviously, after yesterday, I thought that, okay, the test was already done and Wabali is uh, declared fit. But today, there's another story. He still has to pass the test this evening. Aside from that, Pusiri also talked about the chances of Nigerian Spy Goose uh, against Angola. And he talked about the game being a 50-50 game, that uh, there are no advantages, no top dog, no underdog. It's just a 50-50 game and, uh, you know, anyone can win it. But he believes in his team. He knows what they've been practicing and he believes that they are going to prosecute it and get the best of result tomorrow. Sarah also talked about the game plans uh, for tomorrow and uh, what he said about this is that uh, the aim tomorrow will be to try and keep a clean sheet as always to try and prevent Angola from scoring a goal. But of course also playing in his style, in the style that you know the Super Eagles want to play. And of course uh, he wants to get the guys to create more chances this time maybe more chances that they've been creating in the group stages and in the round of 16 and uh, he wants to uh you know get the guys to massive attack and massive defense just like he's been doing prevent any goal from entry and of course create more chances and uh, have more conversion rates moving forward guys there's now been a, a recent worry uh coming out this is a very recent update and it's now an injury uh issue uh with the likes of uh, musa and uh bright say samuel now being uh you know said as a possible doubt but possible doubt for this one uh you know they just reported injured recently bright to say samuel uh had an injury apparently the one that he ha uh, he got in the in the trainings one of the trainings and of course uh, musa also reported injured the injury that he has no one we have, we've not heard anything no one's you know been very specific about it the report now is that he is injured but by to say somewhere the report is that he has a, a a bit of a knee injury from training and these guys have now been are now you know being uh 
listed as a doubt for that game tomorrow. And of course, it may not be a direct impact to the, the to the starting lineup because these guys don't start. They've not been able to start games. But of course, they do come from, from the bench, especially Brad to say some. We've seen him make appearances twice and he had great contributions. Uh, but Musa had, had not made any appearances up to this point. Uh, but of course, he's a valuable asset, both of them. So if they, if they get to miss the game, it's definitely going to be a huge blow. But we still have guys outside, the likes of Awazian, who can come in uh, you know, to, to deputize uh, for uh, Brad to say someone if he needs to come, in, come on. And then, of course, we also have, you know, wingers as well to to come in place if uh, we need to substitute and maybe bring in the wing if Musa is not available. From Pusero, Iwobi was also asked uh, a few questions. And one of the questions he was asked was about how, you know, he advises uh, or motivates the guys in the camp. As you know, he is uh, one of the most capped uh, player, players in the squad currently. Musa is the highest capped with... Uh, 108 caps. He will be has around uh, 100. And, uh, sorry, 71 caps currently. So he's the second uh, most capped player. So he will be talked about how you know he you know tries to talk to them and tells them to uh, you know give in their 100 percent, be at their best in their clubs when they are called upon. You know they give everything and uh, you know try to bring in their A game. He said that's what he usually tell the guys. You know as a way to sort of motivate them. Uh, but of course, uh, let me go straight to the camp of the Angolan. So, as you know, uh, the way Pusera was interviewed, that was also how uh, the Angolan coach uh, did a press conference and he was interviewed and asked about the game. So in his press interview, the Angolan coach, uh, Pedro Concarves, uh, you know, uh, he praise on the Nigerian Super Eagles and he talked about how, uh, you know, he knows uh, Nigerian players, the superstars that, you know, uh, we parade. He said that he personally even voted for that uh, Osime, uh, you know, for the Ballon d'Or because he knows the quality that he has. He knows he, uh, Lukman. Of course, uh, in Atlanta, in Italy, mentioned a few other Nigerian players, um, Moses Simon and, uh, and Azei Dusanusi. And he's, uh, he said that he has a uh, huge respect for this, for the boys, the quality that they have, and as well for the coach as well, Mr. Pusero. And that he and his boys have been, uh, you know, watching clips of the Nigerian Super Eagles, uh, the tactics, trying to learn the strength and strategy uh, that we've been using, and of course, study our weakness uh, just so that, you know, he would uh, learn about ways to hurt us in that game. But he has absolute respect uh, for the team. But he says that, uh, you know, his boys are fully ready, that they have, you know, uh, uh, a number of things that they're also practicing, uh, you know, to uh, display on that day, and hopefully they want to get the result just like uh, you know, uh, the Super Eagles. So the last update concerns that the FIFA ranking that has just uh, recently been released uh, today. And Nigeria, uh, obviously, with the way that we've been pressed, we've been pressed so far this Afcon, we uh, moved up uh, from 42 previous rankings to 34 right now, moving moving up uh, eight places, uh, you know, to occupy the 34th position in the world. And of course, in Africa, we are now the third uh, after Morocco, Senegal. We have Nigeria, then you have Egypt, and uh, the list goes down. So obviously, great, great news for Nigeria. Nice to see, uh, you know, because the boys have really put in the work. It's good to see that this is reflecting on a global scale, uh, you know, uh, in the FIFA ranking that we've just uh, recently seen. Uh, but that's the update, guys. Thank you for catching this one. I appreciate every single one of you who tune in to catch the videos. And of course, uh, we are definitely hoping that Stan Wabali passes the fitness test this evening and you know he's declared ready to make appearance for that game tomorrow uh whatever happens i'll definitely update it either by using a video or uh, posting it on the community tab so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get all these uh updates when they do come out thank you for catching the videos and god bless you stay tuned to the channel